Hey guys, and welcome back to V-Vlogs. Today we're making vegan smoothies. Because it's all I can have. It's all serious though, it's not that bad. Despite the fact that it looks like I kind of blended up Kermit, it's, it's pretty good. <sighs> no, I actually managed to find some decent ingredients that uh, taste okay for the most part. The protein powder is actually one of the rare things that's actually kind of nice because it actually doesn't have sugar in it, but it still tastes kind of sweet. It's kind of like drinking cake batter with sand. You gotta go with what you got, so. All joking aside, in today's vlog, we're actually going to be trying to make both not so much vegan, but gluten-free and sugar-free and yeast-free, probably fun-free desserts. What I'm actually gonna be using today actually is an email recipe that I got from my mom. One of her friends has celiac and she does a lot of baked goods that are gluten-free and use a lot of good alternatives. The only issue is, is that it has sugar in it, but we have our stevia, which we can kind of replace and hopefully get it somewhat close. Either it's gonna turn out surprisingly well or it's gonna be really bad. I don't know, but we're gonna be making apple fritters today. So we have all of our ingredients here. We got our apples, which we're gonna be using for the filling. We have all of our spices over here. We have our cinnamon our nutmeg, our cinnamon, and our allspice. Have our sugar substitute, which is the stevia that my mom smuggled in on a plane. I know that sounds terrible, it says stevia on it, so you guys know, just so we're clear. We have all of our replacements for our gluten-free stuff. Our brown rice flour, our potato starch, and funny enough, actually, baking powder is gluten-free. I didn't know that, I figured there'd be yeast in it. And we also have a little bit of lemon juice here because we're gonna be trying to do a trick with some of the almond milk hopefully to kind of make it more like buttermilk. It's weird, but that's what the recipe says. We're gonna try, we're gonna hope. Hopefully it's not too bad. So first, what I'm supposed to do, I guess, is make the pie filling. I've never done this before. I have to peel the apples and slice them and core them. Got a peeler, and I'm realizing now that pretty much all of my 24 years of living, I've never actually peeled an apple before. Hopefully it's like peeling a potato. That wasn't so bad. Now all I gotta do is really cut them. We should be okay. Oh my god, I got it in my eye. Nice and easy. So we now have all of our apple slices that we're gonna be using for the pie filling, all tossed up in a little bit of lemon juice. And I'm gonna be mixing it with a little bit of potato starch and a whole bunch of stuff to actually make it more like a filling. There's more stuff in it than just potato starch, don't worry about that. But with the power of editing, it'll be done pretty much like that. Gotta love error-free continuity. That's a thing. So one thing I forgot to take into account is the fact that the filling itself actually needs time to cool. I can't be putting it in when it's still really hot. It's kind of burning my hands right now, so I am going to put it... Well, I'm supposed to have a jar, but we got the next best thing. Big old Tupperware. Since I don't want to be really staying up until 1 o'clock at night, we're just going to let this cool overnight and we'll pick this up again in the morning. Oh, that's hot. Uh. As you guys can tell, I am not a morning person. Oh, sweetie. Good morning. So our filling is cooled, at least I hope it is. Time to see if I've essentially made a giant thing of apple cinnamon jello. But we're gonna make our dough. I already have the oven preheating. We're gonna do the last steps. We're gonna see how this actually turns out. Hello. Hi, sweetie. Ow. That really hurts when I don't have sleeves. Thank you. <laughs> guys. 
It's actually kind of springy. I think we'll be okay. To make the flour, all we need is a half cup of the rice flour. We're gonna need a half cup of the starch, which is all the way over there. Just a little bit of sugar. So we're gonna be using the stevia for that. And then a decent amount of butter. As I said, guys, this is why it's not vegan. That's pretty much the only reason. And then later on, as soon as we mix everything together, we're just gonna add the odd almond milk and lemon juice concoction. I'm really hoping it actually works. So we have all of our dry ingredients in here. I think I said that we put half a cup of rice flour and half a cup of potato starch. That was wrong, thankfully I reread it. One and a half cups of flour to a half a cup of starch. So we're just gonna mix all of our dry ingredients here. We have our melted butter, which we're gonna be putting in right after. Then we're gonna be trying the scary concoction. We'll just get this done. This would have been a lot easier with the whisk. But a fork will do just fine. We had a whisk, I just didn't really like the way that it looked at me. You want to try and get it mixed in as best you can. You don't want any chunks of just, you know, flour or sugar or anything like that. Just so you don't surprise anybody. Time to add the butter. And now we're getting somewhere. It's time to go big or go home because now it's time to add the buttermilk. Well, it's actually butter and milk, because it's not even either. Here goes nothing. You're just giving me the weirdest look right now. Yeah. Jesse just snuck in. I'm making buttermilk with both not milk and not butter. That's disgusting. Buttermilk is sour. People would think it'd be like, you know, really fatty, which I'm pretty sure it is, but it doesn't taste it. It's very sour. Kind of works, I guess. I can't reach the Cheerios. There you go. She's making all the sound behind the camera. Sorry. Please be good, please be good, please be good. Is it supposed to look like that? I think now it's time to actually dive in with my hands. Everybody, this is why we wash our hands like crazy before we start doing any of this stuff. You wanna join me? Sorry. Oh yeah, this is the good stuff, Jess. You know how gluten-free stuff always kind of has that texture about it when you eat it? It kind of feels just different. Yes. So does this. Like, even before we baked it, it just feels different. But I'm excited, though. If I can make gluten-free, sugar-free desserts and yeast-free with some fun in it, I'm excited. I'm glad my mom sent me this recipe. My mom did say that the person who makes these does a fantastic job. The only reason why I'm worried is because I'm substituting a few of the ingredients for the stuff that Jess and I can eat. Let's keep our hopes up. Eventually. Ladies and gentlemen, we have our dough. And it's actually sticking together pretty well. I think that's what the starch is for, just to kind of help it out a little bit. Sorry, I'm just completely distracted. Winnie's over there just doing like the bum rub dance on the carpet. <laughs> it's early in the morning, she has to do it. It's part of a ritual. Let's get this thing rolled out. So we have our rice floured surface because we can't use regular flour for this because you know we have to be super strict about this stuff all we're gonna do is just roll this out into a rectangle i do believe so we can put some of the pie filling on it so we'll do that really quick oh please stay together please stay together now's not the time to be falling apart i need you right now i'm worried <laughs> jesse help me don't just sit there laughing this is not a comedy segment that was earlier <laughs> Alrighty, so we actually have some semblance of a rectangle. So now we just have to add the pie filling. I'm just gonna read the instructions to see how, because there's a trick to this. Cover dough with one cup of apple pie filling. <laughs> Everybody's here! They're watching me mess up! <laughs> Why is it all of a so quiet? So apparently I have a bit more than a cup of apple pie filling, so I guess I'm gonna be making some more stuff soon. So we're supposed to put the filling down and then fold it in half. We're gonna try and do this without breaking it. So we're switching perspectives here because Jesse had to run out and stole the camera. Now her and Mandy are actually going to Jesse's makeup test and her final dress fitting, so it's actually kind of exciting. So we're going to try and spoon this on as best we can. I'm a little worried about it though because you guys might not have been able to see in the big camera, but it's 
very much solid. So I have to cover pretty much the entire thing and then fold it in half and that'll let me get around the right size of the apple fritters and get them so they're filled enough. When I cut them into little pieces, there's gonna be enough in them each. Oh yeah, there we go. By the sounds it's making right now, this is gonna be awesome. This is exactly like just apple pie jello. Look at that. So I have it kind of segmented in the middle, so when I fold it over, it's not really gonna overlap too bad. I'm just hoping this all stays together long enough for me to be able to actually flip it. Let's do this with one hand, because we're professionals. We totally are. Come on. Guys, this is totally normal. I have no idea what anybody is worrying about. not going to be winning any awards on looks but as my mom always raised me never judge a book by their cover just because they look a little wonky doesn't mean they're going to taste a little wonky so i'm excited to try them we're just going to let them cool for a little bit put a little bit of a glaze on them so hopefully that helps them out a bit i'm really hopeful that's going to work so yeah we'll give her a shot bottoms up a little chewy I'd say for the most part they're okay. They don't have the same, I would say, sharpness that most foods or baked goods have when you actually cook them with sugar and all that. Since we were using stevia, it is really hard to actually try and get the flavor right. I also don't want to be putting in too much because too much stevia is not very good for you. You have to be really careful with it. It could upset your stomach. But yeah, I would say, you know, it worked. I feel bad that I can do the recipe justice. I'm sure the recipe when used with the actual ingredients that you're supposed to be using tastes fantastic. This one, uh, it's okay. You're not always successful the first time around. First time ever making apple fritters. It was hilarious, at least how they turned out. It doesn't turn out right. You know what you can do next time to try and fix it. But anyways, though, thank you guys again for joining in. I'm going to take another bite, though. I do like the apple filling. Hope you guys enjoyed today's vlog, and hope you guys have a great rest of your day, and we'll see you in the next one. Okay, see you guys. Ow. Hey, wait.